So sometimes when you're recording drums in Logic, you may start out playing in a kick and snare pattern, and then you'll duplicate the track and record a hi-hat pattern or put in tom fills, etc. But then when it comes time to mix, you may wanna get all those MIDI drums down to just one track. That way, if you use the electronic drums or some of the producer kits for acoustic drums, you can just open the track stack and put effects on the individual kit pieces, but then collapse the track stack and have your drums all on one track, keeping your project neat and more organized. What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind or visually impaired Logic, GarageBand, Mac OS, and voiceover users. Check out the blog at logic.band and subscribe. So here we are in Logic, and in this particular instance, we have two drum tracks. I have an instance of East Bay. Track one East Bay, group. Track two East Bay, group. And another instance of East Bay on track two. Track one East Bay, group. And I'll solo this. So Toggle track channels. one is just my kick and snare Toggle pattern. Toggle channel, track two East Bay, group. So on track two, if I solo this. Toggle channels. You see, I just have some cymbal action going on on that track. All right, so now if I Toggle unsolo these. There you hear the hi-hats and the kick and snare pattern together. Let's say I want to combine these two tracks into one. Well, really what we're going to have to end up doing is combining both of these regions into one. And the way we do that, I prefer to work in the event list. So that's the way I'm going to demonstrate today. The way we do that is we select all the events, we copy them, we go over to the other track, open up the event list, and we can paste all the events in there. All right, so let's take a look at how to do this. But before I do that, just want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe. Let someone know about Logic.ban if they want to get up to speed with using Logic with VoiceOver or they're new to the Mac and VoiceOver in general. Also, if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one training, don't forget to check out Logic.ban slash training. All right, so let's dive into how to do this. Let's move off of track two and back onto it. Track one East Bay, track two East Bay, group. All right, so we got that region on track two selected now. And if you have multiple regions on track two, you can go ahead and join them with command J first. Now I'm going to do command seven to open the event list. Now in untitled one East Bay, untitled one. If and I'm just going to do command A. 64 items selected. Sele select all the events there and copy. copy them. And I'm going to close this with command W. Tracks, group. All right. So we got all those copied. The next thing you want to do is do control home. Five bars, one beat, two bars, one beat, one division, one tick. I just did control hand and then control home. So do control home to make sure you're at the start of the region on track two that we just copied. All right. So that region starts at bar two. That's where my playhead is. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go up to track one here. Track one East Bay group. All right. And we want to open up the event list for this track. So I'm going to do command seven. Now in untitled one East Bay. I'm going to hit VOJ to jump into the table with all the events. In table, column one. And I'm going to do command V to one, 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 paste. paste. The reason we had to make sure the playhead was where that region started, because when you paste in here, it will start to paste at the playhead. So everything should line up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this with command W. Tracks, group, on top. And now I'm going to go back to track two Tracks, here. group, tracks, group, tracks, track, track, in tra tracks, tracks, head, in tra track two East Bay, track two East Bay. And I'm going to mute track two. Toggle channel strip mute on. Track two East and Bay, now, mute. Track one East Bay, group. If I just play track one. Two bars, one. And you see there we have everything playing back on track one. As I said, I just muted track two. So now you can go ahead and delete track two. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band. Link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover, you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and VoiceOver. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.